Okay, guys. My name is Sarah and I make gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. I also make a bunch of other stuff here on my channel. So if you, any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and joined our little family. And don't forget, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today's video is another one of my gift guide videos this year and it is one that you guys also really love and that is my stocking stuff for gift guide or what I got my kids for their stocking. I also include my husband's stocking um, in this video just for those of you who also will have a spouse in your life or a, a man in your life boyfriend husband uncle brother friend co-worker that you are making a stocking stocking for um, and you need ideas for that that will be also featured at the end just like it is in all my other videos and if you've never seen me before I have two daughters my oldest is Olive and she just turned six and my youngest is Eleanor and she will be four in March and so this gift guide is just filled with like fun little girly items for them um, this year was really fun to pick out items for their stocking because they're at like a really fun age where they're really into more like girlier things, a little bit older child stuff. Um, obviously nothing too mature or anything like that, but just like more fun kind of girly things that I used to love when I was a little girl versus more of like a toddler-esque stocking. So it has been really fun to pick out items for them this year. And I hope you like all the ideas that I have. Of course, everything will be linked below shoppable below um, it is like December 11th or 12th so you still have plenty of time to order things because the majority of these things were all from Amazon Walmart Target or the Dollar Tree where either you can do pickup you can still get shipping all that type of stuff so I hope that you enjoy it let's get started um, I'm probably gonna start with my girls stuff first um, and like kind of their mutual things that they both get the exact same of and then I'll kind of go into their individual stockings um, my husband and I help pack their stockings, but Santa also does too. He likes to come down the chimney on Christmas Eve just like he does every single year and pack some extra goodies in here. But my husband and I like to add some goodies in our girl stocking as well, so that's just how we work with Santa on it. Um, I know every family's different. Some people don't put any stuff in their stockings and only let Santa fill them. You know, it's whatever you like, but this is just the stuff that we like to add into our stocking as well and wait for whatever Santa adds. All right. So first things first, I'm going to share the treats. A lot of times I don't include the treats in my videos, whether it's my Easter basket or Valentine's Day or whatnot, and you guys always like freak out about it. Um, we don't always do a whole lot of candy in this house. The girls end up getting lots of treats. We still have Halloween candy left over. My mom ends up giving them stockings filled with treats. So I don't go crazy, but I did get them a couple of things this year. First things first are the Whoppers. My girls love these. Uh, my dad loved these. I think that's where they first tasted them. But I always like the Whoppers boxes. I think they're just so cute. They always have them fun decorated for each holiday, but this is just like a little Christmas one. So they each get one of those. They will also each, every single year, I buy them a candy filled candy cane. I love these little things. I just think they, these are just, they scream Christmas to me. I think I must have just got them a lot when I was growing up. And so these just feel like they need to be in stockings every single year. These are the M&M ones. They fit really perfectly in there and they can hang over the stocking as well. We love these. I also got them each a Reese's shaped tree. The Reese's shaped trees or the Reese's shaped, um, treats are the best to me let me know below if you agree i think they're so much better than the mini reese's cups or the regular size reese's cups i don't know what it is about the shaped ones i feel like they just have a better peanut butter to chocolate ratio like the pumpkins that we just had halloween were so good the eggs and easter time they're just so much better when they're shaped anyway these are the trees so each of them gets one of those i randomly got a pack of pixie sticks i haven't had pixie sticks for like 15 years i don't even remember the last time i had a pixie stick but they just called to me when i was in the dollar tree and i thought the girls would really like them too they're fun um i have a bunch of different flavors i will just split them up and put them in their stocking and i'm sure i'm going to regret it because i'm sure it's just pure sugar so we'll see i also got them since i got the majority of chocolate things i decided to get them each a pack of jelly belly jelly beans these are just the kids mix 20 flavors kids love um, they love jelly beans and I think these, I love jelly bellies. I think they're the best jelly beans. So I got them each a pack of jelly beans every single year. They either get a, actually they get a toothbrush and a pack of panties in their, um, stocking this year. They didn't get any panties cause I did like a humongous giant 
underwear buying recently so they don't need any so i did get them two new toothbrushes every single like six months i replace their toothbrush i'm sure you probably are supposed to replace it sooner but it's six months for us don't judge and we use the electric toothbrushes that i get this store and they're terrible the batteries just get burned out so quickly in them and the brush heads get so worn down so fast i'm sure if i bought them like plug-in rechargeable toothbrushes it'd be better but i still feel like they're a little too young to care for those and so Instead, we went back to a tried and true. These are the Firefly ones, and it's a one minute timer, and you press it, and it'll start with green, and then after 30 seconds, it'll be yellow to tell you if 30 seconds left and halfway through, and then it'll stop when you're at red. We still completely, totally brush Eleanor's teeth. She kind of brushes a little bit, but we majority brush her teeth, but Olive is getting to the age where we allow her to do one of the brushings either morning or night by herself completely to learn how to brush herself independent, her teeth independently, and then we normally will pick up either the morning or the night um, to make sure we really get in there and get them really clean. Um, but she's doing a lot better and being more independent and I just feel like this is gonna do a really good job because normally we ask Google to have a timer but sometimes it's crazy and chaotic and we don't hear it. So I think these are better. I really like them, they're really inexpensive. I just got these at the Walmart grocery pickup that I normally do. Shopkins is for Eleanor, um, Pinkie Pie is for Olive. What's 2020 without adding like pandemic treats and goodies into your bag, right? Um, I got each of the girls two things of hand sanitizer. These were $1.50 at Target, but they were actually buy one, get one free. I was gonna do a big um, chunk of them at Bath & Body Works, but I ended up just getting buy one, get one free at Target. These smell pretty much just like the Bath & Body Works one. The girls love when they smell good. This is vanilla sugar cookie, and then we have a sparkling cranberry. So I got them each their own hand sanitizer. Um, they don't go to school or anything they're with me all the time i mean ollie does virtual learning online and i work with eleanor but they're not like a part for me where they would need this by themselves um so i will watch them with it but i figured it'd be fun for them to have their own and then to go with it they each got their own little hand sanitizer carrier these were also from target they were five dollars each but these were also buy one get one free so they were really only 250. um i loved the donut one you just Stick that one up in there and then voila and then the cupcake one's the same way i just think this one's so cute they had a lot of christmas festive ones but i wanted ones that could just last for months after that that weren't so christmasy um the girls are gonna love these they love things like this whenever we go to bath and body works and i'm just gonna have them connect to their little car seat area um that way when we get in the car if we ever go to the grocery store we have to go to the doctor or whatever they can instantly just get in and just squeeze it themselves and take care of themselves um and so they can feel like big girls so and then I can always just refill these with our plain old Purell that we got going on. But I just thought these were a really good addition for stocking stuffers because hand sanitizer is always nice to get, but especially now. All right, along that same line, face masks. Whoever would have thought that we would include face masks in our kids' stockings? Um, but these are actually a pack of four that I got off of Amazon. Um, pretty. I think actually all of our face masks that I've purchased previously have all been from small shops off of Etsy. And while I love them and I love supporting small businesses and small shops, um, they can be really inconsistent with sizing, even from the same shop, even if I purchase the exact same size, just the fabric change can really change up the sizes. Um, and so we love them, but we've noticed that they just kind of like expanded and not they're not as tightly fit to their face. Um, and so I found these and they had really good reviews on Amazon. So I went ahead and bought them. The reason that I liked them the most is because that they had the adjusters. Um, and it wasn't like the really hard snap. This one's silicone. Um, and so you can just pull in. Well, now that I'm saying that, yeah, there we go. It just pulls silicone. Um, and then the elastic bands. Um, and then I also really liked these because I haven't been able to find, um, for a while when I first started ordering, I wasn't able to find the nose bridges and the girls have a hard time with them not slipping off and the nose bridges really help. So, um, these, um, were both unicorn and mermaids. Like I said, they came in a pack of four. So this is Eleanor's with little unicorn and rainbow. And then, then she has a mermaid tail with scales. And then Ollie's is another unicorn. This one has like presents and hot air balloons and and then mermaid scales as well. So I think these are both really cute and they seem like they're gonna fit their faces really well. So fingers crossed that works out. But face masks are an excellent idea to put in stockings this year. Is it a depressing idea? A little bit, but 
It's a good idea. <laughs> right, so I got them each, this is kind of a random thing, but I got them each little wallets. Olive has now gotten older and she's earning money through um, chores and her weekly allowance. And she also got a, um, a bunch of money from, not a bunch, but she got some money from um, our family for her birthday. And so um, she needs somewhere to keep it that's safe and sound. And I've been trying to work with her to try to teach her more about money and saving and spending. Um, and so I thought it'd be really good to get her her first like official wallet. So these are both from Stephen Joseph. They were off of Amazon. I also decided to get Eleanor one because I thought she would want to be included and have a place to keep her money because she has a little bit of money for herself and start trying to work with her. These are ages three plus and let me tell you if this sound doesn't make you think of your 90s wallet and you were about to buy your Barbie at the toy store or you were about to go to the claw machine and spend all of your quarters, I don't know what does. They had all these cute like zip wallets and clasp wallets but when I saw this I knew these were the ones I was getting. One, I feel like they're very kid friendly, but on top of that, just this 90s and this like nylon, oh my gosh, it's giving me all the all the memories and vibes and nostalgia. So I got this one for him. It has a little coin slot, a little mesh area right here, and then of course where you keep your money. They don't need IDs, they don't have IDs, they're freaking four and six years old, so they don't need all the ones with the card slots, they just need a basic wallet, and this is just perfect. I love it. Oh, these are from Texas. Go Texas! I love it. I'm from Texas, if you guys didn't know. These are from Lubbock. Oh, I love that. Anyway, that was ridiculous. <laughs> um, this is Olive's for the rainbow, and then Eleanor, I got this cute little llama. Really adorable. They were really um, cheap recently. They were on sale, but I really like them. Stephen Joseph brand is really nice, and there's a ton of different patterns and prints and icons for both boys and girls, and I think they're really cute. All right, this next item I'm really excited about. I don't know if you guys remember these from like when you were a kid, but these are called Tangle Pets. So they're basically, I'll show you what they are. If you remember these things like little loops and they bend and you can like push them together and scrunch them together and then you can pull them apart and you can twist them and they never knot up and they're just really fun like a sensory toy. Um, they're perfect for kids who may be on the spectrum, who have any sort of sensory, sensory needs oh my goodness um, who maybe have been diagnosed with ADD or ADHD they're perfect for kids who struggle with anxiety or stress um, they are awesome they're fun for me like I, I got this for free when you bought when you got one free um, and it's just fun for me like, especially lately because I've been having terrible anxiety and just if you need to do something with your hands because I end up chewing my nails off and my skin around my nails so this is keeping me from doing that you can pull them apart create different links put them back together and they just bent I just thought this was like a really cool idea especially for Olive um, when she's in school because sometimes especially with only virtual learning there's only so much type of stimulation she's getting from that and so it's been kind of hard I've noticed lately she's been a lot more um, wiggly and just needing something for stimulation and so I thought this would be a really good option so she can kind of keep it um, with her hands busy while still being able to focus We'll, we'll see how that goes. But I really like these. Um, these ones were really cute because they're the Tangle Pets. So this is Linky the Flamingo. This is for Olive. And this is Pop the Puppy. Um, and so these have little like characters on them and they were really cool. Like this one looks like it has gel almost. Um, and then this one is just like the basic plastic one. They also have ones that are textured, that are different colors, that like glow. Um, I got these off the Tangle Pets or Tangle website. I will have it linked below. Um, and these shipped really fast was really cool it's not only when you bought one did you get one free for yourself they also donate to um charities and different groups that work with different kids and stuff like that so more kids especially for kids who have sensory processing disorders or anything like that and need some extra sensory toys and stuff like that especially because that stuff is like just overlooked so often and I think it's such an awesome tool and so anyway highly recommend this I'm really excited they have a bunch of different ones but these are the ones that I got for the girls I, I got them each a scrunchie from Target. These are from the More Than Magic lines. This one is Eleanor's. It's super fuzzy. It looks like a little stuffed animal. And then this one's Ollie's. This one is like a velvet tie-dye one. It already has strings missing. These, this, these were $2.50. This one may be $2.50 worth. This one not. So I don't know how I feel about it. I really wanted a big giant scrunchie and I thought it was bigger than this one. But you know what? They're still going to get them, and I still think they're cute. <laughs> These next things are something that the girls have really been wanting for a long time now, and this was so fun for me to get because this feels like such a girl thing, like a little, 
I don't know there's something different when you cross like into like girlhood versus like the toddler and then really young little girl like when we're actually becoming more like girls does that make any sense like <laughs> not a quite a tween not a teen or anything like that but just like like an older girl like Olive is getting um, and just into more things I don't know if that makes any sense let me know below if you know what I'm talking about anyway they both have been really interested in one Claire's so that's like all the place that they want to go all the time now but like little eye masks and I just thought these were like little sleep masks I thought these are so cute this is something they've been wanting for a long time so I got them a pack of two off of Amazon this is all of hers is just pink with a sparkly unicorn ombre horn Eleanor's is green and tie-dye her favorite color right now is green, all this is pink, um, and it's just silk or satin on the back with an elastic band. I don't know if they're going to be too big for them, but we're going to test out. They've been wanting sleep masks for so long, and I just think that they're so cute and so fuzzy. I wish you could see them in better without the lighting being so bright, but I really like these. I think they're adorable. It also came with this little free little bag right here. I'm actually going to give this to Eleanor because Ollie is getting something kind of similar so I'm going to put this in Eleanor's stocking um, but it says magic unicorn it's probably not going to last for five seconds but we're going to try it out but you can get giant packs of these off of Amazon but I just needed two of them they're adorable and I think they make really good stocking stuffers for tweens or little girls and things like that heck I want one actually next I bought these packs of hair clips off of Amazon these are the coolest and cutest hair clips I have ever seen this was such a win um but they're these sparkly rainbow star like i don't i don't even know how to describe i think these are so cool and most of them are the little like two back you know the regular like alligator type of clips and then there is one like regular like clip clip i'm totally not helping right now but i just thought these were adorable they're so pretty um, I got each girl, they came actually all together for like $8 or something, um, but this is uh, Eleanor's, and then this one is Olive's, and then they also came with this pack that I'll probably end up splitting, once again, a rainbow, this like fun rainbowed little like sparkly guy, another rainbow of stars, back on the back, more clay ones, these are so cute. So if you have a little girl who really likes clips and bows and stuff like that, or you have too many bows, you want more clips, these are a really good idea. I love them. I'm so impressed with them. Hopefully they don't fall apart really quickly. So moving on to more of their like unique kind of gifts of each of the kids. First off, let me just say that they both asked for makeup. Olive in particular, she's really dying for more makeup. I don't let them wear it out of the house. Only to my mom sometimes. They can wear like lip gloss or lipstick out of the house, but they're not wearing like full faces makeup. They don't have concealer, they don't have foundation. I feel like I got ripped apart a couple years ago for getting my kid makeup. It's just fun for them. I use makeup, I model that all the time when I'm putting it on. They're observing, they wanna be like mommy. So I'm letting them have fun and create. I got them each these lipsticks. These are from Ellie Colors Lip Color. These are just lipsticks. They're nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Um, they have a bunch of lip gloss, so I didn't really want to go that route. I may end up going back and getting like a tube of lip gloss each for them, but they don't really have any sort of lip color, so I thought it'd be fun for them to test this out. Um, like I said, these are from LA Colors. This was from Dollar Tree. This was from Dollar General. I don't know which one's getting which yet. This is like a purple polish color. This is like a pink frost, so I don't know. Something that I'm sure that they both will think is pretty. Um, they both each these give me memories. These are the LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadow with a little brush that goes inside. Did any of you guys have these in like middle school and in sixth grade? I had one that I think, I don't think it was LA Colors. I think it was like NYC and it was this shimmery like pearl that was kind of like iridescent and had blue shimmers. I still, like it's still in my mind so ingrained. I think I continued to use that same one until high school, <laughs> like ninth grade. Um, these, I, I saw them and had to get them. These just make me think of that. Um, this is for Eleanor, this is grape jelly, and this is for Ollie, this is lollipop. So I'll probably give Ollie then the pink, and then Eleanor will get the purple. Whatever. Um, those were Dollar Dollar Tree, and then I got this blush for Olive. This is the Beauty Benefits Lasting Flush Blush. She's been wanting blush. This is in Fruit Punch. Um, she won't ask for a blush and she's wanted highlighter. So LA Colors had this highlighter. It's in Glow Time. It looks like really pink and frosty 
we'll see um but she's asked for a highlighter and a blush so she got those um eleanor has been really wanting this because olive got one last year and it is the pick me pops cheeky puffs i actually got this on clearance for two dollars and 25 cents at kroger um and it's scented shimmery puff so it's like a highlighter but not as intense um and eleanor's wanted one of her own so this is eleanor's Ollie specifically, like I said, asked for makeup and she has used her eyeshadow palette that I got a couple years back um, in my Westberg when I got my kids for Christmas video. It was like, beautiful and rainbow. She used it to death. And so I got her a new one. This one is like, I'm so impressed with the packaging on this. I got this off of Amazon and had really good reviews. It's the Fruit Punch palette um and once again sticking with the rainbow theme she loves the bright colors that's what she has the most fun with so i got her another palette with that the packaging on this feels like something that i would get at sephora i'm not going to even lie maybe a little less but it makes me think of something like huda beauty would have or like milk makeup it is such a nice thick plastic and so i'm really hoping it lasts and the hinge doesn't break off like it did in the last palette um but i thought this is so pretty and totally up her alley it's bright green it's fun so i got her this i had a bunch of different colors um, and a bunch of different palettes but i thought this was the best one for her like i said i will have it linked below this is from amazon to go along with that i just got her a new brush this is from wet n wild um these are great brushes i recommend them this is actually from dollar tree and it'll go with her eyeshadow um and to keep it all in i got her this little kind of makeup bag from target it's from the more than magic line that line is so cute for little girls um and it's just kind of this like pvc front <laughs> and that's see-through and then the back is this galaxy print but what makes this fun is as you can see there's patches and gemstones and stickers and she can decorate the front she loves decorating that's like her favorite thing and so this will be so fun for her to customize it for herself and so i thought this would be fun to keep her makeup in but it's also a gift for her and an activity for her um this was like eight dollars or so at target but i think i got it on sale for about five so it's cute it should fit all of the makeup just fine that she's getting for christmas but i thought this would be really fun kind of like activity for her olive is also getting a new set of earrings um i got these off of amazon they're from meow star <laughs> um she has her ears pierced eleanor doesn't but eleanor has chosen to get her ears pierced for her fourth birthday so that's something that we are going to do um but olive currently has her ears pierced and she has very sensitive ears just like I do. So I had to um, make sure I find something that was like hypoallergenic, stainless steel, stainless steel. Um, and I found these really cute little cat earrings. They had really good reviews and for people who even said that they had a lot of ear sensitivity and stuff like that, metal sensitivity, they didn't have an issue with these. I thought they were so cute. I don't know if you're gonna even be able to see them, but they're just these really cute little cat heads that have little rhinestones in the ears i thought they were adorable they're rose gold i believe they had different colors um and it comes with a bunch of different backings too she has an issue with the earrings falling out of her ears so i'm hoping these will stay in um but they're really gosh darn cute and i hope that they don't cause any ear sensitivity we've had to get we can't get like anything from target or col uh, players or anything like that earrings wise because her ears get really bad um just like infections and stuff like that so i'm hoping like i said these will work out but i think they're really pretty i don't know this is i feel like this is such a big girl gift <laughs> i don't know to get like jewelry in her stocking there's something that's like so sentimental with certain gifts like being a mom and now giving it to my daughter like this is such a gift to like it's like a big girl gift i don't know all right so for eleanor's last couple of things i got her um this really cute little thai beanie boo she loves beanie boo she has one that's literally so loved and so crusty and so nasty that even when we wash it it stays looking so mangy <laughs> but she loves it and she calls it meow and it's been with her since the beginning so um i decided to add a meow a little friend and this one is called helena now um thai ships for free and i didn't get taxed so this was 4.99 that's exactly what i paid and they have free shipping the shipping uh said that it could take two to four weeks i got this in a matter of like four days so so I'm gonna say, I don't know if that's gonna be left for everyone, but this is the cheapest I found it, which is actually on the Thai website and 
free shipping, no tax, highly recommend. Um, but is this not the cutest little guy or girl? She's super cute. Just put any, like a horn on any animal and any kid loves it. So I know that she's gonna really like this one. And then last but not least, if you watched what I got my kids for Christmas video, you would have seen that I shared this, which is the Kendi Kids, um, or I shared the Kendi Kid doll, Marshmallow. They came out with a little like accessories kit. Um, I also had ordered the backpack, but it, I have this happen with Target quite often. I'll order something and all of a sudden it gets canceled because they no longer have it. I don't really ever have the issue with anywhere else. Let me know if that ever happens to you. Um, so she's only getting this, which is fine. She doesn't need the other one. This is totally enough. Um, but this is a Kenny Kid lunchbox and it has a cute PB&J that like breaks in half. It has a fruit cup and a little spoon. These are like the Shopkins, which she loves if you've been watching for a while. So she's gonna love this even without just the doll. I think this is really cute. I think this is about $9.99 um, at Target. And that's the only place I've been able to get my hands on them. And they do have them online currently. I will have them linked below, um, but I think these are adorable. Hey guys, it's the next day and I forgot to add a couple more things into the stocking stuffers for the girls. I got them each. Um, a little Chelsea doll. They have been obsessed with watching the little Chelsea shows on YouTube and I know I mentioned Elsia and Anya in my last video and you guys totally understood. It's driving me up the wall. But they love them so I got them each these little Chelsea's. Um, Ollie saw her in the store and wanted her because she looked like actual Chelsea. Um, like Chelsea Chelsea just like Barbie's Barbie. You know what I'm saying? Chelsea in the show and she loved her cute little outfit with the purse. And then Eleanor saw her and loved her. I love her. I think she's so cute. Look at her little hair. Ah, oh, so cute. Anyway, um, these are just a couple bucks at Walmart. So each of these will also be going in their stockings. The girls didn't know I grabbed them that day. But these will be going in their stockings. I also plan on getting a couple of Barbie outfits because they've been obsessed with Barbie clothes lately. So let me get a couple more Barbie clothes. And then these little guys are going in their stocking too. All right, that's it. <laughs> All right, that is it for my girls. So let's quickly move into my husband's. His aren't as exciting, but I still wanna give you ideas. All right, so we are moving on to my husband's. Um, there are things that I do every single year for him that he can just expect. Most of his stuff is all necessities, not a whole lot of fun glitz and glamor, but I honestly feel like that's the most adult talking thing to do is just get the things that you need and so you don't have to buy yourself. So first things first, undies. Um, you guys laugh every single time I share underwear from my husband, but you know what? I just want you to know that I've had so many people message me later and thank me for sharing the underwear that I have that their um, son or husband or boyfriend ended up loving it. So we're trying one new new ones this year. I think I've been doing the Hanes ones for a long time, the past two years, maybe three, and I'm just ready to switch it up. So this year we're doing Fruit of the Loom. These ones were like all the rage when I googled underwear. We don't we don't have Calvin Klein here. We're not doing like Justin Bieber wear one throw it away. I heard that. I don't know if it's true, but I heard that he like gets free Calvin Klein for life basically and he wears it one and, and throws it away. We don't do that here. We're not bougie. We like fruit and loom. We like underwear in a five pack, all right? Four pack, five pack, five pack. Anyway. <laughs> Um, they, these are, however, I think these are new. These are the cool zone fly. So they have like a mesh area, I guess, where your, 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 your bits are. And it just adds a little aeration down there. So I don't think I need to go into details with you about my husband's bits. So I won't, but I feel like these would be pretty universal for any men who get like some heat down there so I don't know who knows if these are great I'll let you know apparently the legs don't ride up they're breathable dual defense wicking and odor protection um I got him ones for stripes I really like when I get him colors because I think they're cute <laughs> so I'll let you know how he feels about these later but I thought I'd sh share with you underwear next thing um I get him body wash every single time he literally drinks it not literally but like I've never met someone who goes through so much body wash. I feel like he's just like, keeps going when he's like drizzling in the shower or something. I have no idea, but I he goes through so much body wash. It's unreal. So I got him a two pack. This was one that he used to really love. He's moved on to a different one, but you know what? This was on sale. He's getting it. So it's an Old Spice Pure Sport. Um, this is freakish, freakishly heavy. I honestly have considered wrapping this because I think it would be like a fun dupe. 
to think that he's getting something exciting, but it's just body wash. <laughs> I think that's mean, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but body wash. Um, this is super cheap, by the way, at Target. Got it on sale. Um, and with that, I think they were having, it was either a deal on all men's grooming products or just Old Spice, but we're trying out a new pomade. He loves the American Crew, but that stuff is like 25 bucks, and it used to be like eight bucks on Amazon. No longer is, um, and I don't really love